why I'm here now. Derek, what kind of repercussions are there for cops that do things like this? None. I mean, in our case, uh, the statute of limitations had ran out on this cop. And let me just tell you about this cop. He didn't just do it in the police department. He left the police department, went into the DOE, the Department of Education, and he did it there. He framed the guy in the DOE. They later found out the guy did nothing wrong. They had to reinstate him. This is just his nature and his character. Um, he and he just, just gets away with it? He gets away. He's What's still, his name? Louis Scarcella. And he's out there still? He's out there. He's still getting a pension. The city is still paying this guy. Uh, we still got cases today that we are fighting in court for him. James Jenkins, Nelson Cruz. Are they still actual cases that we're litigating? How many people do you think that guy wrongfully put in prison? You know, I'll tell you something that I didn't even tell you, Josh, about this one. And it's going to... This guy worked on over 200 cases. My father was killed in 1988. He was the detective on that case. Um, and I'll tell you something about that. Um, he said that one of the guys snatched a confession out of his hand and ate it. I didn't believe that. I said... As much as I want people who may be responsible for my father, if I can't trust this guy, I can't take nothing he say to be truth, right? Just recently, that case was overturned, Samuel Edmondson case, because of his sloppy police work. So I, he says 200 cases he worked on. I would like to believe at least half of those guys uh, are innocent. Well, a lot of them have been exonerated. How many Scarcella exonerations have there been? 20 to date. <laughs> How does a guy not just get locked up immediately for that? And when he 20. testifies, and when he testifies, he has two lawyers with him now, right? I've never seen a witness come to court and have two lawyers standing with him. We object to it all the time, but I mean, this is how much of a criminal he is. He had two lawyers standing with him all the time um, to try to protect his rights, and he don't remember anything now. Like he don't remember, you know, it costs. So he don't recall nothing. Uh, you got to bring the police reports to him and say, that's your signature. Did you do this? But he don't remember anything, of course. Selectively, he don't remember anything. 